Character Writer is a software that uses Enneagram personality theory to help develop characters for your work in progress. It also includes a basic story builder, which for the purpose of this review, we will ignore. Character Writer 4 is being reviewed on a Mac, but is also available on Windows. I first found Character Writer 4 back when it was under typing chip and called Character Pro. I was just starting to work on my first project. I was looking for a way to help me create characters and this was the only affordable software at that time. Finding the software when I did was a great thing. It helped a new writer think and create characters. It was simple to use by breaking this process down into steps, especially for someone who had characters far down on the list to think about and cool things, the plot and explosions at the top. Character writer has changed since then as the software went from being purchasable to free web base to purchasable again, which may be its downfall. However, for the concept, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Unfortunately, it only goes downhill from here. Character Writer is a very simple software that helps you navigate the process of creating your characters. There are only actually two features, characters and story builder. As I already mentioned, we're going to ignore story builder. It's not worth your time. Character Writer breaks it down into steps that are displayed at the top of the four steps are basic, type, psychology, and character profile. The fifth and final step is for notes. Why it is at the end and not incorporated throughout, I have no clue. Now let's look at each of these steps. Basics is the starting point for your characters that you expected. Name, age, sex, occupation, etc. To start, come up with a name. Not sure? Character writer has you covered. Just click the button next to first name and a search comes up. Just click gender and ta-da, you have names to pick from. The search makes it quicker to find a name if you have a letter to start with, but you quickly see how limited the database is. Sadly, there is no option for surname. If you're gonna have this for the first, why not the last? Over on the left, you have an option to add a profile picture. Don't. Your only options are from the crappy clip art included with the software. You're better off just using the character appearance description at the bottom and adding your own pick after exporting. Once you finish with the basics, you move on the type. This is for your character's personality. When I first started, I thought this was awesome and how they broke it down into four parts. Mental health, story arc, anagram, and also. Now, I think it's terrible. Mental health is broken into your healthy, average, or unhealthy. Each one, you're told what is the usual character. Healthy is hero or love interest, average is secondary character, and unhealthy is the bad guy. The simplistic idea that only the hero and love interest is healthy and the bad guy is unhealthy is flawed. Next comes story arc. This is just asking if the character will change by the end of the story. Next you have the anagram, a theory on personality that breaks people into nine areas. These areas are the perfectionist, helper, achiever, artist, thinker, skeptic, adventurer, boss, and peacemaker. Character Writer gives you links to more details on each of these with helpful examples from people in real life and other characters. I'm not a fan of anagram theory. To me, it's treating characters as one note. Last is the also. This is two options that you choose from based on the anagram that you selected. The options change based on the anagram. Psychology is all about psychological disorders, and boy is this list extensive. By clicking on a disorder, it will tell you about it. You can add it to your character profile by highlighting it and clicking add. I do like that Character Writer includes it in the software, but I have mixed feelings about how they go about it. Having it be an actual step suggests that characters should have at least one disorder, which is not true. If you're going to give a character a disorder, you better do your research something that should have been mentioned on the software. Gone are the days you can say a character is, I don't know, an alcoholic and fall on stereotypes. Not that it was ever okay to do this. You need to do your research on any and all disorders your characters have to make sure you portray them correctly. I do like that psychological disorders is part of the software, but not as a step. Now onto the profile. This big empty text box is well, you write it. I know what you're thinking. Why write it? What was the point of everything I just did? Relax. Just click the generate button. 
This takes everything that you included and creates a default profile. Want to write your own? You can. If you need some help, you can click Character Type References button. This pops up a window with generated profile broken up into parts. You can reference each of the parts as you write your own or delete it and answer the questions provided for each section. It's up to you. The last button is Character Relationships. What this does is reference each character's anagram and compares it to each other and tells you how the characters would interact. Just make sure you have more than one character created before clicking it. The character profile is everything supposed to come together, but it really doesn't. It only comes together if you click Generate. Why do I have to click Generate for the profile to appear? Is it so if I choose to write my own without the default, I can? Why would anyone use a software that generates character profiles and not use the default? Speaking of the default profile, it's just that. The character is not my character. It's one of a limited number of characters it can spit out based on the limited options it provides you. Sure, it can be a starting point, but you have to rewrite the profile and further flesh out the character. Something I thought was faster when I started writing. Now I just see it as a waste of time. There are far better ways out there to come up with characters these days. Then you have anagram theory to deal with. Limiting characters to one of nine ideas. For me, I always saw my characters as two. One of the nine as a primary and another as a secondary. But this is not how anagram theory works. Because of this, I had to generate two profiles based on the two of the nine types so I could compare and pick what I felt best fit the character. This only increased how long it took me to write a character profile. For features, I'm awarding it a 4 out of 10. They're flawed. Character writer is very straightforward. To quote Pitch Meeting, it's super easy, barely inconvenient to learn. It's nearly impossible not to figure out how to use it on your own. If you want to know more, there are some tutorials. For that matter, for Character Writer, and a fifth one dealing with Story Builder. You can skip that one. They are short and cover the software, but they may not be helpful because you may not be able to get through them. The audio is terrible, the speaker's microphone isn't the best, and you can hear all the clicking and typing from the keyboard and mouse, and it gets annoying. At least they have tutorials, but they could have been done better. I'm giving them a 3 out of 10, solely based on the quality of the tutorials, not the information. They're bad. So, how much does it cost? Well, let me say this. I wanted to review Character Writer out of my fond memories for this software, even if it wasn't the best. However, the gloves come off here. That's because CharacterPro.com is charging $69.99 for this piece of crap software. How do they think this software even comes close to being worth $70? It looks terrible. It has a half baked name generator very basic characters you can create, terrible tutorials, and a website that looks like it's from the early 2000s. I seriously want to know why they think it's worth this much. Because when I first bought this software, years ago, it didn't even come close to that much. It was like $30 to $40. Even that is too much. This software at most is worth $10. When I start to think about the lame story builder that's included, try five. Yeah, it loses value. For the price, I'm giving it a 0 out of 10. And zero's not even on my scale, but they left me no choice. As I mentioned above, I decided to review Character Writer 4 out of my fond memories for using it when I started out, even if it was never the best. I thought it was a good starting point for anyone who wanted help creating characters. Then I tried it again, and now my memories are ruined. Regardless of my personal feelings, I have to ask myself this. Could this software be helpful to someone looking for a starting point on creating characters? My answer is yes. And the 14 day free trial is more than enough to convince a few people of this. However, this software does not come close to being worth the $70 asking price, which leaves me with one thought. Really? Don't waste your time and money on Character Writer 4 which I'm giving a one. Really? Thank you for watching this review of Character Writer 4. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of my review and if you'll give Character Writer 4 a try. 
please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when all other software review and other content go live. Thanks again for watching.